Heads or tails? You call it. Let's flip the coin. Let's gamble with our health now and in the future. Any takers? We shouldn't be flipping a coin. We shouldn't be gambling when it comes to our health, but we are. And here's why. We only know one part of the story. We were never told or empowered with the other part of the story. We were never given the choice on which one to choose. Down below this video, I shared a lot of information. So the people who like to read and want to know more, that's down below. And I went even a step further and I found a PDF document. You can download it, find the link down below, click on it, download it, keep it for yourself and try to read it. But it gives you the whole story. But here's the short story, okay? Louis Pasteur, Antoine Bouchamp, father of the germ theory, father of the terrain theory, the one you never heard about. Louis Pasteur was the cool kid on the block. He was the friendly dude. He was very social. Everybody loved him. Antoine Bouchamp, not so much. Super smart dude, but not very social. Didn't go to a lot of parties. He was in the lab. He was working. He was grinding. On his deathbed, Louis Pasteur, the father of the germ theory, upon which Western medicine is built, he admitted that it's not so much the germ that we need to be worried about. It's the terrain. Germ theory, it's all about the germs. The germs are the enemy. The germs are what cause disease. If we can master germs and control germs, we can master and control health and disease. It's not so much the germs, it's the internal terrain, the seed or the soil. So what's more important, the seed or the soil, the germ or the terrain? Antoine Bouchamp's idea, which is far more logical and more accurate and more applicable and more valuable to you and I right now is what can we do to change our terrain? to make our terrain inhospitable to the germs so it can't grow. So we can grow health and not disease. Are you following me? Do you see which one has more potential, is more logical? These things we can control. We can control our lifestyle choices and all of our choices dictate the terrain. Whether we choose to eat well, our pH level, our hydration level, the neurology in our body, if we're going to a chiropractor and take care of our neurology, germs are everywhere, you can't avoid germs. Being obsessed about germs as the cause, that's crazy. Germs need a hospitable environment, an environment which would to grow. And if you can figure out, like I have, how to create a great terrain, you make it very difficult, despite germs being everywhere around you all day, every day, all year long, you make it harder to get sick. And if you get sick, your body does what it's designed to do. It overcomes and manages the sickness with great efficiency. This is a very empowering concept. This is very disempowering, but very profitable to people that make things that you can take when you are sick and let you go back to your same bad lifestyle choices and be none the wiser. Just come to us. We'll give you the magic pill. You'll be fine. We'll give you the magic shot. Come on. Germ theory, terrain theory. Which one describes your mentality, your mindset now? Which one do you think you should be gravitating towards going forward in the future? Learn more about. Make an educated decision on which one makes more sense to you. Please do your due diligence. Look at the information I found, gathered, and summarized down below. Grab that document, try to read it. It's very geeky, but it will fill in all the blanks that should have been filled in over all the years from the doctors and teachers that were more focused on the germ theory and not the terrain theory. It changed my world, and if you allow it to, it'll change your world. Mm -hmm.